both Critio and Hook Logic were performance models built on closed loop uh, sales attribution and basically targeting consumers with relevant content and then delivering back uh, you know closed loop sales as a result of that of the advertising. Um, what Hook Logic did uniquely was do that for brands, whereas the Critio business was primarily built on uh, companies that own their own point of sale in digital, so e-commerce sites, whereas a lot of brands are not that active as their own e-commerce sellers and in fact are active as second parties inside e-commerce sites. So think like uh, Hasbro at Toys R Us or P&G at Walmart. And those brands have a challenge in creating a performance solution because the sales are actually measured in third-party e-commerce sites that they don't own. Um, and what we were able to do is kind of crack the code on opening up the, the sales data in e-commerce for a closed-loop model. And we did that through uh, monetizing the retailer traffic uh, with sponsored listings in the retailers that justified creating a uh, a sales measurement model to drive the, the sales of sponsored listings and make money for retailers. So what that brought to Critio was really a functioning performance model for brands that, that Critio had always said, you know, we have all the retailer budgets, we have to figure out how to get into the brand budgets and, and provide a value add service to brands. This was, the, this was identified as that big opportunity to move in that direction. Um, since the acquisition, I think, you know, a few things that have been really positive you know, first off, we've been um, taking advantage of the Critio engine to increase performance of the, the product. Um, Critio's you know, known for uh, strong machine learning and, and an engine-based approach to prediction and, and serving up the right, the right ad to the right consumer at the right time. Um, also, um, you know, been working to expand uh, internationally, and Critio's a strong footprint internationally. And I think in, a, in like a wider sense, um, we've really worked to redefine sort of the vision of Critio in that time period. So prior to that, you know, Critio was quite heavily a focused retargeting company, if you will, a single product that, that performed extremely well in the market. What we've been able to do now is, is sort of expand that vision into what we call our commerce marketing ecosystem, which is a place where uh, e-commerce companies, including brands and retailers, are um, able to participate in a larger marketing ecosystem built around shopper data and built around key, key concepts of uh, identity and being able to identify a customer across many different platforms, uh, interest and in knowing what people are interested in, uh, measurement and being able to measure the sales for, in particular for a brand that wasn't able to measure the sales, and, you know, and reach across a vast set of inventory. Um, and so what I see is a, is a much more holistic strategy developing around commerce. Um, and I think the, uh, the company basically seeing a, a, a new path forward from, uh, from a, an amazing core business that generated you know, extremely high growth in a, in a very large market, and now how to leverage that business into new businesses and adjacent businesses to create a, you know, a much more effective and much more pervasive marketing strategy for our clients.